Hello, Leo, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We are looking at all three sides of the connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it, the concept being that there are three sides to every story. So we're looking at your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle, looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading, which we will jump into in just a second. But I do have a different tarot deck for each side of this connection, as well as the advice deck that I will be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings and they are not here to resonate fully for everyone. So please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. On that note, these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left, just know that's totally fine and totally normal. Again, the point is to take what resonates and helps your situation and leave what does all right, right off the bat here, I feel like this is about some sort of a past connection or like, like something that happened in the past with, with a connection that's currently together. I'm not sure. But on your side of this connection, you have unresolved issues with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You definitely do not have to be. But I do feel like um, there's something here regarding this connection that feels very unresolved for you and still like still gets you worked up emotionally like even if you don't want it to affect you it still affects you it still uh affects your um your emotions in some way shape or form um and i feel like you don't like that that's the case like i feel like you don't like that this connection still has um I don't want to say has power over you necessarily, but that it like still affects you or like that what happened still affects you in some way. Now, this person has influence and distractions with the judgment in reverse. I feel like this person's perception, attitude, investment in this connection is, is blinded by something. Like outside influences have affected this person's investment in this connection or like because the judgment in reverse is the need to see the truth of something, like see past what happened to like the root of the matter. Like the best thing I can think of is if someone like treats you poorly or like does something wrong or I don't know, whatever the case might be. And then they go to like their friend or like their mom and is like, you know, it gives their side of the story. And then that person is like, oh, you know, you didn't do anything wrong. It's the other person. Like they're crazy. You know, you're, you didn't do anything wrong. And it's almost like, like this person is blinded by like what they want to see as opposed to what they like need to see. And I feel like that's very frustrating for you in some way. Now, the thing that made me feel as if this was, and I'm not saying like what I just said about friends and stuff, like that's not what I'm saying they're doing. Like I'm not actually saying that that's what they're doing. I'm saying that's kind of the way for me to explain the energy. Now, the thing that makes me feel like this is like a connection from the past is because you do have past life. So um, I, yes, this could be a past life connection, meaning that when you met this person, um, things felt like it felt like you had known them forever. Things felt very easy. It was very, um, you know, familiar in, in a sense. But I also feel like what this is talking about is this is like a connection that has happened in the past or something that happened in the past regarding this connection. I know I've said that a couple of times, but yeah. Okay. And then in the truth of this connection, you have someone has unmet needs with the six of pentacles in reverse. So there was a lack of um, equal investment or like a lack of um, – reciprocation in this but not not even just that like almost like this lack of like both people being seen or treated as equals or like it could be lack of respect like I don't know exactly what it is but I do feel like you are the one lacking because I did that's where I kind of feel like this person didn't reciprocate or didn't you know did something or didn't do something and like are, aren't willing to take accountability for that in some way. And it bothers you that it's still 
so frustrating for you. I don't know. It's it's kind of complicated <laughs> the way that it's coming through. But let's start, Leo, by looking at your side of this connection. This is for Leo's side of the connection, clarifying unresolved issues with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person's energy, or Leo's energy towards this person. Leo's energy toward this person, please. Leo's person or energy toward this person. This person could also just be influenced by like the way, like their own perception, you know, just unwilling to see things in any other way but their own. Just a stubbornness. There's a stubbornness coming from the side. But okay, Leo's side of this connection. I mean, there's the King of Cups. I really feel like you could be dealing with water sign. Again, you don't have to be, but you have the Magician in reverse, the King of Cups, and the Empress. You gave a lot to this. Um, I feel like with this Empress card, like you were very nurturing of this connection. You you kind of showed up in it um, in the best way you knew how, for sure. But at the same time, I feel like that wasn't seen as good enough. Like you showed up in the best way you knew how, but yet it wasn't good enough or something. Um, not that it wasn't good enough, but that it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was good enough because there, I mean, I do feel like there was this lack of reciprocation. This magician in reverse card is like lacking tools or lacking, lacking knowledge or lacking tools in order to bring something into reality. And so what I'm, that's kind of what I'm gathering from this person, especially with them having the King of Cups right here. King of Cups with the Magician in Reverse. It's like they weren't, weren't able to reciprocate the kind of energy that you gave to this in some way. And maybe you knew that. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. All right. Leo's side of this connection. You know. You know better than I do. It's your connection. Leo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Leo's side of this connection, please. Huh. Ooh, okay. Tower, Six of Swords, in reverse. So Ace of Wands in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Chariot, Emperor, Three of Swords. I feel like you saw this person as a path to what it is that you desired, like a path to your abundance in some way, shape, or form. That could be materially or emotionally. But instead, it's like instead of moving to this, instead of going to this Ten of Pentacles, this connection led to this Three of Swords. Like, I feel like you saw this person as someone who was going to be a part of your life for, like, potentially forever. And it doesn't have to be a romantic connection, remember that. But you definitely felt like this person was going to be, like, in your life, at least for, for a hell of a lo lot longer than they were. Um. And you very much prioritized it. You did what you could to prioritize the connection. But then I kind of feel like you got the rug ripped out from underneath you here. Like, it's like this person just like, I don't know if they like, they changed their tune. Like, just like flipped on you almost in a way. Because yeah, it's like they went from being this Ten of Pentacles to this Three of Swords. And I feel like this happened pretty quickly in some way. And this, that's what I feel like you're having a hard time recovering from is there's a part of you that's like, man, like almost like true, like, I don't know if it's true colors came out or, or what. But I feel like you're just like, man, I, 
I didn't see that coming. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Cause then you, had, like I said, you had the towers tower. It's like, you're stuck on what happened. You're stuck on the tower, even though I don't really necessarily feel like you want to be like, you're still stuck on it. Like you're like, and that sucked. And I feel like that's an, very much an under exaggeration. Um, Leo's connect, side of the connection toward the person they are dealing with. This is Leo's side of this connection. Leo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Leo's side of this connection, please. The temperance in reverse. You're frustrated with the healing process of this. But the reason you're having a hard time healing from this is because there's a need to change your perspective on what happened. Because you're, again, I've kind of felt, it's like you're frustrated that this still affects you or that this affects you to the extent that it does. Like you're frustrated that you're hurt or you're frustrated that you're upset. Um, but the reason you haven't been able to fully heal is because there's this need to shift your perspective in some way, which I feel like we'll get more information on as we keep going. This is Leo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Like changing the perspective on what happened in some way. Leo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. This is for Leo's side of this connection. The Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Death. Leo, there was some divine protection involved here. You were very much protected from this person in some way. Um, like, like, whatever went down here and their true color is coming out, like, that is what, like, what the universe was protecting you from. Like, I don't want to say, like, who this person really is because that sounds very, like, mean I don't want to be mean towards this person we haven't even looked at their energy yet but like it just feels like you were protected from like like their intentions or their you know hurt people hurt people right so like their trauma their burdens like I don't know it's like you were you were protected like you might be like how was I protected things like really like this person really hurt me but I feel like you were protected from that being worse in some way um, like there was definitely some divine, some divine protection at play here. Cause I don't really feel like this person was being very honest with you about how they really felt or like what their intentions were or like something. So, I mean, and I feel like, I feel like the biggest reason, like with the unresolved issues and the Queen of Cups in a like the biggest reason that you're having a hard time, like truly healing and making peace with this is because you're having a hard time understanding what happened. You know, sometimes when we get the rug ripped out from underneath us or someone, you know, shows their true colors and we don't expect it, there's a part of us that can be like, what the hell? Like, you know, you're like, what was that? Like, what just happened there? And I feel like that's kind of what you're feeling like. Like, you're just kind of like, what the hell? I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. Leo's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Like, you didn't expect it. It says Leo's side of this connection. The devil. But there was an attachment here. Devil, Three of Cups in Reverse, Five of Pentacles. 
I feel as if, Leo, you, I don't know if you had a soft spot for this person or what, but you definitely let them cross your boundaries more than you have let other people cross your boundaries. It's like they got the benefit of the doubt more than I feel like you've given a lot of other people. Now, maybe because you, you know, you really cared about them or I don't know, like it's almost like I don't know, like, especially with the devil here, like there was this attachment to the outcome of the connection so much so that you were willing to kind of do whatever it took to make it work. And that was coming from, I feel like a good place from a place of love and, and kind heartedness. But I feel like you gave out a lot of love and acceptance toward this person that you were actually needing from yourself. It's like, yeah, like you gave them the benefit of the doubt or like you were willing to see past some of the things that they did for the sake of the connection. I don't know if there was codependency involved. I highly recommend doing a little bit of research on the difference between love and attachment. Because, and it, it, you know, it's, it's really love based in connection versus love based in attachment. I'm not saying that you didn't love this person or don't love this person. What I'm saying is there can often be a difference in how, in the, in the foundation of that. And attachment stems from kind of this, this place of, I need you to be something for me and I need to be something for you. And, you know, we, I can't, you know, that I can't live without you or I wouldn't be happy. Um, I'll never be happy again if this connection doesn't work. Like it stems from the attachment to the person and the outcome that you're willing to put up with a lot more. And like, like I said, like kind of like overlook a lot more for the sake of the connection. And you know, love based in connection comes from this place of, you know, I love me for, for me and I love you for you. And as long as our paths align and we're growing together and the connection benefits both parties, then good. But if that ends up not being the case, then, you know, that's okay too. Like kind of making peace with whatever happens in a way. Um, because I do feel like this attachment that you had to this person and this connection, it caused you to overlook a lot. Like knowingly too. Like I feel like you you knowingly overlook overlooked a lot. Specifically when it comes to having your needs met. Leo side of this connection. Leo side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Leo side of this connection. Eight of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. I feel like that's, yeah, because the Two of Wands in the Tower, like, for a really long time in this connection, things were very much on track. Like it was like things were going one way and it just feels like this connection got completely derailed. Like it just like, it took this like sharp turn in some way. And that's why I feel like there's so much confusion surrounding it because you, you were like, I really thought things were going one way. And then it was like, nope, you know, it was actually something, they actually went an entirely different way or like, you uncovered that this person isn't really who they presented themselves to be or like something of that nature. Like it was like, like totally just like things are moving along and then just like, and I feel like that's why there's still so much emotion associated with this is because you're, you know, one of the things I try to do in a lot of my readings is help bring a deeper level of understanding. It's not that that understanding can necessarily like heal you. You'll still have to go 
through the healing process, through the grief, you know, through the, the pain associated. But having that understanding can make it a lot easier to heal. And I, when we don't have that understanding and when we lack understanding what happened, then there, you know, it's, it's harder to heal because you're like, I don't get it. I don't get why that happened the way it did or like what, what led to this. Um, I feel like that's where you're at. So hopefully when you look at what this person is dealing with, we can bring through, bring forward a little bit of, uh, of clarity. All right, let's shift gears. Let's look at this person's energy toward Leo. What does Leo need to know about this person's energy toward them? Specifically to help gain some understanding here. This person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo, please. That's a weird message. <laughs> They're confident in the injustice. Okay. It's like they're, they, like I stand by, like they stand by what they did. They stand by their, their decision. They stand by their actions. Even though they weren't justified, even though there's unjust, injustice. Yeah, it's like with the death in reverse, like they don't think anything needs to change. Oh, that is frustrating, Leo. All right, this person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo, please. This person's energy toward Leo. They saw this falling apart the way it did as like inevitable. So maybe that's why they're standing by what they did is they, it's like they saw, they didn't ever expect it to be. Now, I don't necessarily think that that has anything to do with you. It could just be, in general, the way that they view relationships. Like, they view them as as temporary, or they view them as... Like, it's almost like there's this energy of, like, well, it's going to end anyway. I don't know, though. It's... It's interesting. I feel like this person wasn't ever really committed to this. Even if, like, you guys were married. Like, they were never really two feet in. They always expected in the back of their mind, like, for things to end or like, and they could have this like people always leave or all relationships and then disaster kind of mentality that they kind of projected onto this. This person's energy toward Leo. 
But the truth of the matter is, is if they feel that way, they probably shouldn't be in relationships. This person's energy toward Leo. Yeah, it's like they're not taking accountability here. I'm sorry, I don't like the way that came out because I was I was thinking about something else. It's like they're not taking accountability for the role that they played. There's a lot of projecting going on here. This person's energy toward Leo, like a lot of projecting. Leo did this and Leo did that. You know, Leo said this, all these things, but then like they probably did just as many, if not more things to you, but they're like, in their mind, all of that was justified. This person's energy toward Leo. It just kind of feels like they're a little selfish. This person's energy toward Leo. Not a bad person necessarily. Just a hurt person. Ooh, a person being very ran by ego. The sun in reverse. Especially when it comes to relationships. Oof, okay. I mean, at the core, this person isn't very emotionally available. And it's almost like maybe they like invested in this until things got hard, like until things, yeah, until things got hard. And then I feel like when things got hard, they were just like, I'm out. Because in their mind, it was going to end anyway. So like when, when the challenges arose, they didn't even like address them. Or try. It just feels like they didn't even try. <laughs> that's that's. That is a very frustrating <laughs> energy, Leo. I uh, I can understand that, but I feel like. I mean, they've got so much going on on their side here. Like their lack of accountability. Is or their their accountability isn't necessary to validate your pain. Like you can validate your own pain. You can say that hurt. This person hurt me. What they did sucked. And like you can understand that you are valid in feeling the way that you did, and you do not need them to recognize that in order to know that you are valid. I feel like sometimes we feel like we need an apology or accountability in order to heal, but that's not the case. Um, we are, you know, sometimes actually healing without an apology is one of the most freeing things that we can do because we do take our power back. You know, we, we allow ourselves to say, I'm not going to give this person any more power over me and my emotions. I'm going to validate my own pain. I'm going to work through, you know, the pain that was associated with this connection, understanding that, um, I'm allowed to feel the way I feel because it, it almost feels like, I don't know if you're waiting on an apology or if like you feel like you're owed one. And I'm not saying you're not, but I, I don't think this person's going to be giving you one just, and it's, it's their own lack of a self-awareness, you know, that and, and accountability that, that has led to that. Have you ever met those people? And you might be like, yeah, it's this person, but there are certain people in life where they create a lot of their own problems you know, like you can, you can literally watch them create their own problems and then they turn around and they go, oh my gosh, it's everybody else's fault. I'm trying to think of a, an example. I don't know, but I, that kind of feels like what they're dealing with. It's like, it's always everyone else's fault. There's no accountability associated. And you know, that, that's, that's only going to harm them in the future. Like, yes, obviously it's hurt you, but it's going to hurt them too. Not that I'm saying you want that necessarily because I don't think that, you know, we often think that like the other person hurting like we hurt is going to provide us with healing, but it never does. Um, other people, other people's pain does not heal our own pain. It's like every superhero movie ever, right? <laughs> the villain is always like trying to vindicate or not vindicate, um, you know, serve justice by hurting people and then it never works. Um, but that's kind of like what I... 
and gathering from this person or from like what's going on here is like yeah they did they hurt you and like let this reading be validation of your pain like you are you are deserving of feeling the way that you do but I don't I don't think you're going to get accountability and apology from this person until they do some pretty intense self-reflection and and from what it looks like their environment that they're around it feels like it's actually very enabling for them so I don't necessarily feel like they uh they're going to take that accountability. So let's see. This person's energy toward Leo. They definitely see themselves as like, there's like, they, they have conflict. <laughs> it's like, like they're angry at you for hurting you. No, I'm not saying, you know, I don't, I'm not, mm. I'm a firm believer in the fact that no one's ever innocent, right, in the way that things happen. I think that two people are always involved. There's always situations that are happening where there needs to be accountability on both sides, no matter where that comes from. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. And a person who blames no one has finished their lesson. Usually when we can recognize that there is a lesson to learn on both sides and then realize that things just happen the way that they did and it sucks but you know you heal you move forward and usually if you're if you're able to learn your lesson then you only open yourself up to, to better things um now if you don't learn your lesson and you're constantly putting blame on other people and you're not taking accountability you will repeat cycles you'll get into the same relationships with the same people and you'll deal with the same problems and you will stay there until you do take that accountability. So that's what this person's setting themselves up for. Because I feel like this person has not, they have not said, you know, what did I do wrong in this? It's, it, it just feels like that Leo did this, Leo did that, Leo, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, but, you know, have you ever heard of, I'm not saying this necessarily, it's necessarily what's happening, but like crazy making. Like one of my rules for dating was with, if anybody ever told me that their ex was crazy, I'd always meant that they were crazy because <laughs> it'd be like anyone that, you know, paints past relationships like that. Like, it's like, they're not willing to take count accountability for what they did. And so they're like, oh, they were crazy. Like they did all of these awful things to me, but never actually admit or speak up about or are even honest about the things that they did. That's what's going on. And then and again, with influence and distractions, they have people around them going, oh yeah, they are, Leo is crazy. Or like Leo, you know, Leo deserved it or whatever the case is. Um, I'm not saying, saying they necessarily feel that way, but definitely doing whatever they can to, to take it, to not take accountability. <laughs> this person's energy toward Leo, and that's just going to come back to bite them. That's, you know, their own karma. Karma is a very real thing. This person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo, please. Um, oh, hang on. This person's energy toward Leo. My goodness. This person's energy toward Leo. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, three of swords in reverse. Oh, that's interesting. Because there's a six of, six of pentacles in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse, which is what... It's like your energy and then the truth here and then the three of swords in reverse. Um, I really feel like the thing that you're the most frustrated about, like, I feel like, yes, you are frustrated at the fact that this person, you know, did what they did and isn't taking accountability for that. And you're justified in that. You are. But what you're ultimately frustrated about is this person's lack of self-awareness. Um, and their lack of self-awareness isn't a reflection of you. Um, 
when I was dealing with, and I'm not saying this is one, but when I was dealing with an emotionally abusive relationship, I was in it for like seven months, a few years ago. And after I got out of that connection, I was rightfully so very, very angry with this person. I couldn't believe they would do, do these things to me. They did all of this, you know, and they never apologized, never took accountability, never actually owned up to any of it. And that was very frustrating for me because in my mind, I was like, how the hell can someone just do that to someone and then just move on with their life, right? Then going back to my quote, a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. I, you know, switched and I switched into the, the person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. And I looked at it and I said, you know, um, during that time period in my life, I was actually very aware of the fact that I was being treated poorly and I overlooked it because I, I felt like, oh, if I was aware of the abuse or if I was aware of how I was being treated, it wasn't going to hurt me. That's not how it works. And there was a reason, you know, I was trying to prove my worth to that person. I was trying to prove that I was deserving of love, like whatever the case was. And there was so much healing that came from that connection. But what I'm getting at is that I had to look at the fact that, yes, that person treated me poorly, but I also let them for a very long, a lot longer than I you know, should have. Um, and then I had to start to address the forgiveness of myself. And I had to start to, to realize, you know, why did I stay in a connection like that? Why did I allow myself to be hurt until eventually things kind of, you know, blew up and so on and so forth. And that accountability and that forgiveness of myself actually allowed me to help forgive that person. And now I'm at a point in my life where I'm actually grateful for that connection because of what it taught me. Uh, so I say all that to say that person never apologized and they never, um, you know, took accountability or anything. I don't know what they're doing. I have, I have no idea. But um, I don't like, it's, it's like, I didn't, I didn't need that apology or that accountability to heal. I took the healing into my own hands. And I feel like that's what we have to learn to do is for the longest time. Yeah. I was extremely frustrated that that person hurt me the way that they did and that they just carried on with their life. Like, you know, like they didn't just to destroy mine. Um, but then I realized it wasn't about them. It was about me. And I needed to learn what I needed to learn. And I need to address my wounds and, you know, my healing. And once I did that, I was able to set myself free from the connection. I mean, this took a couple of years. This wasn't like an overnight thing. But what I guess I'm getting at is you don't need this person's apology to heal. You don't. Um, it might feel like it. It might feel like you need their accountability to heal. It might feel like you need the understanding of why they did the way what they did. I feel like at the root of it, they are selfish. This is a selfish, selfish, selfish action coming from someone who is doing whatever it takes to survive. Um, you know, lacking empathy, lacking accountability, and all of those things are their karma. You know, um, so there's this need to see that that the way that they acted, the way that they treated you, it doesn't mean it doesn't it really it doesn't have anything to do with you. And if I had to guess whatever went down in this connection, you probably weren't the first person it happened to. Um, they probably have repeated this pattern in, in relationships before. Truth or uh, not truth. This person's energy toward Leo, please. This person's energy toward Leo. One more. This person's energy toward Leo. This person's energy toward Leo. <laughs> See, deep down, they do have guilt. They know. That's the thing. They know. Now, they're going to look for whatever they can to, like, not have to face that, right? Because the Ace of Wands in reverse, like, lack of action, lack of doing anything about it, they still lack the accountability, but they know. Um, even if it's subconscious, you know, there's that little voice. They know. They quiet. They do whatever they can to quiet that little voice. But they know. They know. And you can, you can find solace and peace in that. Like, they might not be willing to face it or even admit it but they know. Um, and karma is a very real thing. We'll get with what's coming to them. It's just, you know, you've kind of got to focus on, on the lesson associated with, with your side of things here so that we can see what the deeper purpose is, which 
brings me to, we are going to hop on over to the extended, looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. I'm going to pull nine different messages and I have an advice card to pull at the end. Thank you so much, Leo, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Leo.